Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in what the Reapers were capable of, but I also knew what I was capable of. And losing the Asari homeworld wasn't in the playbook. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. <laughs> This'll be over soon. It better. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top-secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So, the two guys are climbing up a hill, going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well... well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? In case you hadn't noticed, we just lost a few million people. This isn't the time. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like more than Torfan, where you put your whole damn squad through a meat grinder. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you, and I'm supposed to help. I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. Couldn't leave the best pile in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We got work to do. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise.
Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteroth. I've updated the galaxy map. Thanks for listening, Commander. You're worth listening to. And now I'm blushing. <laughs> you do that fairly regularly. In any event, good luck. Shepard, this wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Shepard. You all right? I'm fine. Liara? I don't know. Okay. I'll talk to her. Thanks. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. Dr. Tassoni has gone to speak with the Prothean. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. Wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong... Then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. If it means anything, I would have given the Primarch the same advice. Yeah, there's that ruthless calculus again. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off, and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd have... Hey! Settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat! Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? For not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you would. Long ago, we saw the potential in your people. Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen. But as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara Tassoni. That was... unexpected. Thank you. 
We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara's been a good friend to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? Gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heart burn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but... You're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. Thank you. 